Please, please, please don't screw me out yes! of here. Yes! The noble lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. We found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock. We'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. <laughs> we still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Okay. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. Let's go take a pee then. Um, why? Hey, okay, well, please don't screw me up with my trophies. Let me borrow your tools. Uh, why? I need to focus. Come on. I bought Groot's third <clears throat> ability. And that was the last one. And then he got it. Do not his fourth drop that. ability automatically at the Fin Fang Foom after the Fin Fang Foom Fin Fang Foom Lamentis? fight. What happened on Lamentis after we left? And then all of a sudden it wasn't the there. Saw you, things looked dark. Let me see something. Let me look at my. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First, let me look at my outfits. Okay, <clears throat> there's a bunch missing. We're gonna get one. To <clears throat> a bunch unlock. Okay, it's not him I'm worried about. It's outfits. Okay, one left there. One left there. Okay, we got one for Drax coming up and one for Gamora coming up. Yeah. Okay, so we should be good on getting Fashion Passion. Or getting an outfit for her, so. It's a okay. story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. <clears throat> I did not want to know that. Okay. Oh yeah, a little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. I'm just going with my toothbrush again now. Groot's been using it. Gamora's been using it as a fingernail brush. What am I doing? Yeah, don't Everyone touch that. The ship's been using this. Not today, brain parasites. Yeah, toss that thing, man. There's the toilet. No. Nope. Okay, so we need to go talk to. No, Groot and. Wait. Who did we find so shit for? How come you can understand Groot so well? Yeah. You've only known him a few seconds. We gotta talk to Groot and Drax here. Now that's a knife. <laughs> it is indeed. Drax! Hey, I was just... There's that's no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait, so you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Hmm. And yes, <coughs> I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultaf. It's gonna be 15 minutes of talking now. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we mess it up Which for love, everyone by, by I, capturing Finn Fang Foom? I'm just worried about what do you mean? <laughs> video length. Well, uh, <clears throat> its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no Foom to, you know, send you there. Uh... Peter Quill. <clears throat> there are many paths to Ultath. I didn't hear him. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but Oh yeah, them. back on the planet he right. said that. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village. Twice I think this is the first the time I'm hearing the final village. countdown. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. 
Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, <clears throat> you used Thanos twice blocked. during the Galactic War? Yes. I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. You better give me my trophy. An example. And I better have the three points. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. <clears throat> to be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. And we gotta go back Since to that chapter. my destiny was not two in trophies. the mountains of Kakarantara maybe after one. all. But here, Kakarantara. on this ship, Kakarantara. Tin Tang Foom. Tin Tang Foom. Okay. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar. Broken. Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death. But the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? I don't know. I, no, I because screwed he up. obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, oh, okay. mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he <clears> did <throat> redeem himself in the eyes of his people. Just by facing him. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. There you go. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. Yeah. Well, except moderate. Okay, <clears throat> gotta talk to. Um, hey, uh, bug lady, you see anything about this mission? You know about about? No. I don't see much, or rather, I see too much. We gotta run down here. Does Lady Hellbender ever stand us up? Where's the thing? Where's that? <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. Uh, those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Testing the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him. Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. Okay. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there. Wish no matter what. Several items are now on sale. Together. Okay. <clears throat> Where is this um plant? You wish to practice hand to hand techniques. What is this? It's so I don't think weird I've ever looked at this. And where is this Zuberi? That's from Maklu, right? Oh, here it is. Toxic spores <laughs> like those big ones in the forest. Okay. Here we go. Now we got to talk to Guru. what it is. He does. Which means we gotta talk to. Oh no, Mantis, Mantis is gonna translate. Hey. Thank God. Hey, Star Guy. Uh, shouldn't you be keeping this in the fridge since it came from Maklu? I am Groot. Just like you, Sir Groot. What did he say? Oh, just that with the right it. care, the plant you gave him oh. can survive pretty much anywhere, even on spaceships. I can see why you'd want plants in space. It's so empty. I am Groot. Yes, dark, and gloomy, and doomy. Blech. I prefer home to be on the ground. I am Groot. Aww, such a cutie. And if you can't go to your planet, make your planet come to you. Wait, does that make Little Fuzzy your maintenance mammal? Maintenance mammals? Hmm. There are creatures like Rocket on your home world. Oh, yes. I am Groot. 
He says there were lots of little furry babies on Tolunia. Tolunia? You know, Planet X. Ah. But Little Fuzzy wasn't one of them. He's one of a kind. The maintenance mammals on Tolunia were servants to Groot's people. <sighs> Gross. I am. Um... Uh, that's uh, What? He says the other saplings were big meanies to the maintenance mammals. They'd hurt them. For fun. <laughs> but Sir Groot says he preferred their company over his people because they were super smart and nice. <laughs> he says our kindness reminds him of little fuzzy. Really? <laughs> Aw, you big sweetie. He says he couldn't protect his friends on Planet X, but he can protect Rocket. He's lucky to have you, man. Hell, we're all lucky to have you. All right, next question. Yes, we know you're good. Now hug. Oh, uh... Maybe later? What was your home like? Beautiful. He says he wanted to be a forest caretaker, so he could spend time caring for all the wonderful plants that grew there. What stopped you? I'm great. His dad. <clears throat> Sir, what's a prince? Wait, your dad was a king? A big meanie. He says his dad and the other Arbor Masters were corrupt. They favored the few over the many and turned sentient mammals into slaves. I'll tell you, just like I said. Why are all dads that happen to be kings always dicks? <clears throat> yeah, nature of kings. Sucks. Even the wisest tree and purest water can be poisoned. <sighs> Sir Groot says it's up to us to be the antidote. I get it. My mom loved her garden. Me too. Well, if there's anything I can do to help you with your garden or make the Milano feel more like home, let me know. Okay. I'm not gonna buy his thing. He says Just, thank uh, you. Maybe I will. Pete. Should I wait till I leave the ship? Okay, I think we're about Mantis. done. Mantis. Oh I've my god, so come on. Questions. I know, and I want so many answers. Like... Seize the means of production. <laughs> it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is. Seize the means of production. Uh, not the answers I was looking for. I care even more. Yeah, I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? <laughs> Shit. What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is safe. So you're able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and Why spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. Oh, no, not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she yeah. came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? Right. Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good, because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. I love her. She's great. Okay. All right, I think we're done. It's should I buy the thing now and pray that the trophy pops? There, Say hi to Cammy and then get going. Right yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, ready? I don't know why it wasn't there before, but trophy, trophy? Yes, fully loaded. Thank goodness, man. All right, let's just I call this like uh, Adam Warlock. Yeah, Adam Warlock. Let's see. Is there anyone else to talk to? Group. Good thinking. This is the last the water talking. Sorted out before we go. Come here. Hey. Hey. Okay, Groot. Shut up. <laughs> he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. The, the last what talking. Say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the Soaked Unifier. 
<laughs> the grand humidity. Okay, come on. <laughs> it's a really long joke. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Did All right. What? Are you... Working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? No. You turned the music on. I did, did not. My player back. Why? You already got music playing. Just give me the right. player back, bro. So you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but what part of I need to focus? Don't you get? I've already heard. Relax now so and anyway. final countdown and might give us a way to get through the armada around something else. Just in case Lady Skull Suit doesn't show up in time. Nice. What oh, is it? On something. You'll see. But she's gonna show up. All right. We don't need to use the workbench. We're good. All right. Where's the music player again? You're over watering, Sir Groot. My favorite yeah, song on here is I tinker when I'm Let me see what we haven't heard. Gamora meditates, etc. When I'm stressed, I concentrate real hard, and sometimes I can see the birth of the universe. Alright, that's it, bud. First, there's only one reality. And then bam. it's all the talking. Oh, yeah. That's kinda cool. More cowbell. All right, we've talked to them, we've talked to them, we've talked to everyone. That's it. We're done talking. We got fully loaded trophy. We are getting out of here. So, how was it uh, riding along with Lady Hellbender? Did she have you try on battle armor? Oh, no. She's very respectful of other women's bodily autonomy. We just talked. She asked about you. Uh, really? She wanted to know if you'd give her your bomb recipe. Sir Groot praised your skills at length in captivity. Uh, you, you don't got to take one last nice look at the ship. Look, she can get my bomb recipe if she pays for it. I really like this game. All right, stop it here.